see Kaleo on the stream later on here. It is going to be Atomisk versus Apeit, man. The battle is about to start. Of course, if you're in the chat or if you're watching the YouTube VOD, 62% of the chat says Atomisk will take it. Well, 38% against Apeit, man. Apeit, man, looking for his fifth MSM Online victory. Uh, Apeit, man, currently with all the MSM Online victories, I think it's like, he's like fourth? Yeah, he's like, he has four MSM Online victories. The most out of any other players. Yep. He's just consist the most consistent uh, MSM online player so far. Yeah. And he's always like top four, top eight. So we'll see. Adamus is a different beast. So is Wi Fi yeah. DD, as we've seen. Oh, the you're so dead. What? The back here. That's the thing about Rob's recovery is DD has enough jumps to actually just contest them in the air. Dang. I just played so aggressive in that situation. It just worked out perfectly for him. Oh man, missing the tech on down tilt. Unfortunately though, Adamus wasn't able to get a decent tech chase out of that. So far, Ape Man playing pretty sloppy around these DD traps. More than I've seen uh, usually when I see him fight Adamus. Scary stuff, yeah. Oh, okay. Stuck in that back air. I didn't expect it to kill DD that early, but. This is kind of a throwback matchup because I, I know back in the day, like in Smash Bra and Brawl, like there used to be like few, uh, like DDD was pretty good in Brawl and Rob was an interesting character back then. I'm not too versed in Brawl, but I know both of these players come from Brawl for sure. Yeah. This is definitely the best iteration of Rob, I would say. Yeah, I agree. But, uh, but Brawl Rob wasn't, wasn't so bad. Yeah, he had um basically I forgot the name of the, the term. Jeez, I'm terrible. He had that Dacus, there you go. Well you know, Glide he, I don't think he could Dacus, it was, No, it was it was Glide yeah, tossing, right? Yeah. yeah, it was Glide tossing. Yeah, there his, you go. I'm, uh, I'm glide toss close. for his items was very good, so he had a lot of pizza kill with gyro, but even though he can't glide toss in this game, he just has just as many tricks with the gyro. Which makes him one of you know the best characters. I mean Brawl Marth, and I miss Brawl Marth every day. But Ape Man, with his back air, man, he's uh, making sure, like Shride said, man, he's making sure he uses Rob's best iteration to all the strengths. Okay, down for fair. Oh my goodness, everything blew up in Adam's face there. Parlo makes his matchup hard for D. Is set. Rob just has so many ways to deal with the Gordo. And that's yeah. one of D's best tools in neutral. So a lot of time you just see Adamus uh, mixing up the Gordo with the inhale to get uh, in on Rob. Yeah, and also the way inhale that we're seeing... Inhale mainly to uh, absorb the projectiles and like, send yeah. them back. Yeah. And it's good too because you can either send them back or just inhale them in general. Obviously you don't want to inhale them because there's some end lag from that, but... Oh, oh that so, range on up so it was crazy. It's a good call out too, because if anything any Ape Man was gonna do to escape that situation, is go for an aerial out of shield. So Ape Man had quite the read there. So Adamisk had quite the read. Oh, I didn't know Rob had a Dacus in oh, Brawl. I was gonna say I, I never I never used it, so I, I never played Brawl Rob. I just remember him having Dacus and Glide also. I thought it was the most ob oblivious thing ever. Yes, but not everybody's Dacus was competitively viable. Like, yeah, everybody had a Dacus, but some characters, so yeah, it just wasn't that good. It wasn't worth doing. It was either, depending on the character you used, it was better using glide tossing than, yeah, Snake's glide tossing was disgusting. It was, like, literally the best thing in the game. Or you mean his Dacus? His Dacus is... Yeah, Snake's Snake Dacus was ridiculous. Yeah, because you're basically doing the, well, the, the it, napalm. It, de it depends on how good your dash attack was. So if you had a dash attack that like went really far, that was usually like determined how good your Dacus was. Yeah, but Snake Dacus was... <laughs> and, then, and then I remember in Smash 4, like they made like... In the beginning of Smash 4, before they took it out, like they made like... Almost every character have a really good Dacus for some reason. Yeah, every... every it, was really, it was really funny to watch. Every character Especially had a good Grenindra. Dacus. Every character had a good Dacus, and then every, and a lot of characters had a hit some counseled up bees. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, like Diddy, 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 Mega Man, and like a lot of other characters. Uh, Sonic, Sonic had hits them cancel up bees. It was disgusting. Just like Ape Man's up air and this laser to hold onto the stage. Yeah, huge lead already for Ape Man. Oh man, he had nowhere to go. That's unfortunate. Like, yeah, even if he canceled the up early, he would have gotten punished there. Oh, hey, Ape Man's not, he's not letting out of his play right now. <laughs> he potentially can get another kill here? No. Couldn't really do anything about that up Still, he's gotten so much percent. Yeah, he was trying to set up a situation where he can put Adamus in between him and the gyro on the ground. Didi's so big that once he's in that type of spot, he can't do much. Back throw? Oh. Uh, wow, damn. That upper looked like it crossed up his DI. Because he went straight up. Yeah. All right, this is this is really bad for Adamus. Only 83% on Rob. Ape Man pretty much getting to press all of his favorite buttons. Oh no, is he oh, dead? Oh, he is dead. Oh, oh no. Well, on to game three, I guess. That match was like three minutes or less. Ape Man letting Adamus know, man, you may take down Zenny, but uh. I think Rob is like one easily top three best Wi-Fi character. So. Dude. Yeah, how long was that game? That was like that was like it two was like, minutes, it was right? Like, it was like two minutes. Oh my god. Just I got a message from somebody and in that time that I replied to that message, I looked up and Ape Man won. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just let you guys know. Okay. To talk about Brawl a little bit here in the in the break between this match, the trip mechanic was really dumb in Brawl, but it it but it wasn't like a big deal for some characters. Like if you're a Meta Knight, you never have to really worry about tripping because more than half the time you're just jumping. <laughs> what, there were but, only a, like three situations I could count where tripping actually determined a match. It, yeah, most it, of the time, no one would react in time to the person tripping that yeah, tripped. It was very minimal, and even then, tripping was. Like... It still, it was still really dumb. Yeah, like... it was dumb. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! I just tell people in my book, Brawl was not a competitively viable game, but we made it viable. It had a lot of uh, interesting. Topics. I had, I had fun playing. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But I, I didn't, I didn't play a bad character. I, I think if you played character. a bad character, uh, it was very hard to enjoy the game. Brawl but, had Brawl had more low tiers than any of I think than any of the Smash game in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. So this is interesting. This is the first time I've seen Adamus go to this stage uh, on stream all night, actually. Yeah. Kind of curious. Ooh, oh, barely with the Legend of Invincibility, and Rob is so tall when he comes back on the stage. So that up smash would have been an excellent call out from Adamisk. Oh, barely avoids the laser. What kind of catch? That was nuts. <laughs> Did you see the Z catch on the gyro there? That was crazy. That was actually so. That's so nonchalant how he did that, but it's actually so hard to do that. <laughs> if you yeah. if you mess that up, you will just get hit. Adamus is such a strong player, but tonight he is definitely turning up the Jets. No pun intended here. Immediately with the Gordo, trying to get AP Man's landing, missing the up tilt. So funny seeing DD pick up the gyro with dash attack. <laughs> such a laggy move. Good, good oh, attack nice here to stop. Back, yeah. yeah. He wants to stop Adamus aggression, and the way that Adamus has been hanging out at the ledge with an up tilt or a down tilt or an up smash. It's good to just read that. Well spaced in there here, allow him to get through. Ape Man's gotta oh. watch out here. He's gotta take the first stock. 186 yeah, here on Carlos. He's getting pressure to the ledge. Oh my goodness, the gyro actually jettisoning the coil back in Admiss's face. 210%. Light numbers for DDD. Oh, it's a grab. Tombstone power driver. Dead. Yeah. Dang. Ape Man was so ready to react to that grab after the gyro hit him like that. 
really good stuff for him. Oh, no extension cool. from the gyro, but good there. Under, good for him to still go for the down tilt, oh, just trying to look for the extension. The gyro. The gyro just hits the Gordo right back in his face. He might die to Jack here? Yeah. Okay, nice catch for Adamisk. Uh, I think he just really likes this stage right now, just because it's pretty big. So he, even though he's already playing a heavy character, right, like he can live even longer on this stage. So I think he's fine with that. Right now, those getting locked down at the ledge quite a bit. Down throw, nice. No up tilt though. Yeah, not the safest inhale. Yeah, and the upper will be immensely true against Diddy's huge hurt box. Nice catch. Yeah. Applying a lot of pressure on the platform. That's the thing about here. Adamus, oh. dude. He's never afraid to go aggressive off the stage with DDD's recovery and jumps. Okay, snaps to the ledge. Took a lot of percent, though, just trying to edge guard Apin, man. What a beautiful Very sequence from Apin, man. Yeah. Forward throw? Yeah, I was going to say. He he did forward throw there just so he can see if Apin was going to directional air dodge in towards the stage to call that out. Oh, got the poke with the side B. Unfortunate for Adamus. And then there's the laser too, just hitting the gyro right or the mm. corner right against his face. Tough call out. Not tough falling call for out. that. Yeah. yeah Even man going for a really hard read, but I miss not falling for it. Still though, really rough spot to be in. He's gonna have to play out of his mind to bring this one back, in my opinion. Yeah. The, the gyros is all he, he had the read time. initially. He had the read, like he had the gyro in play. Yeah, pretty much Adamus at the ledge. It's just Adamus the last second realized, wait a minute, I'm nowhere near that spot where I'll smash will connect. So I just stay here and punish. Oh, there's a roll. Oh. Apeman's gonna watch out on that roll. He would have had a much better time punishing there, but the roll pretty much gave Adamisk an opening. Oh. Adamus just barely avoiding these kill moves, but Apeman, not super close to dying just yet, unless Adamus, you know, bangs off at the rage he has and gets a really strong hit. It's a good start. And Helva is right. Zaki did beat MKLeo one time. Yeah. Really good set. That high roll suck. Oh. This is rough. Trying to get past the gyro at the ledge. Mm -hmm. Nice use of the Gordo. Give him some time to get back to the stage. Yeah. And, and now, like now he game. actually get the kill. He got the jump. Okay, oh, no, no, no. Good, good guy from Apeman. Yeah. yeah. But next big hit can do it. 208% for Adamus. Oh, he's trying his best not to get touched by Rob here. Look, I'm going to be a, I'm going to, oh, gonna, oh that's, that's, that's it, that's it. Yeah, that was an unsafe Gordo, unfortunately for Adamus. Gyro is a dumb move. Gyro is literally Rob's neutral winner. That's like Rob's one condition. You just toss Gyro and you mix in laser here and there. And that is the most basic, like, Rob primer that you can get. After that, you just use down to our job. I'm smash to read rolls. Like, I'm giving you the very basic level of Rob. Obviously, there's a lot more to it. But at base value, like, if you want to look at Rob as a character, and Gyro is ridiculous. Yeah. There is, more, there is more to Rob than just Gyro, though. That is 100% true. There's more to Rob than Gyro, but... I mean, if you just think about the gyro, it already has so much versatility as a move. Like, you yeah. can do so many things it's with a just trap. that move. Yeah. It's a trap. It's a projectile. It's a charge for your laser, which is even good. It's it's like four moves in one. We've seen Ape and Man corner carry with gyro Z drops. Yeah. It's a combo extender. Literally, you can down tilt your opponent if he's facing a gyro the wrong way. It's crazy. It does it all. It pays 8-bit man's bills. I'll tell you that for sure. Mm. I'm assuming his phone bill. I don't know 8-bit man's phone bill. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of bill, okay? That's the point. I want to get all technical for you guys. Hmm. Dang, I really liked that counter pick for Adamus. He just couldn't clutch it out. If, if, it, if he's allowed to, I would definitely go back to Kalos. Yeah. 
I'm just still amazed. Like, Keem Dedede leaving at 213, pretty much putting Ape Man on the back foot because he had a chance to actually rob Ape Man of that victory. It was literally yeah, Ape Man's Ape game to Ape lose. Ape Man had very good DI on the uh, up air yeah. at the end. I thought that was it, but he actually DI'd it perfectly. It's very similar to uh, Rob's up air in that Dedede's up air can actually cross up your DI as well and lead you to die really early off the top, but... He was ready for it that time. Okay, so Ape Man looking to get this last game to see if he can uh, be in Winterside Grands. But I don't know, even when Admus is losing, it's usually really close outside that game where he got free stocked in like two minutes. <laughs> oh, nice catch, yeah. He just followed the air dodge really well. Pretty, pretty big lead for Aven, man. 65%, not really close for Rob to be dying. Oh my goodness, he took so much damage from the Gordo and the Saibi at the same time. Oh, nice tech. Even that close to the ledge, he was ready to tech too. Yeah. There's an air, no forward here. Good laser and immediately stops the starting frames of the Gordo being sent out from the hammer. All right, I like the way Ape Man's holding the stage now. No gyro extension there, and they just finished spinning out. Yeah, Ape Man covering pretty much every base right now. Very difficult for Adamus to get started, man. It's that gyro is just always there too, just hit the Gordo right back in his face. But finally sneaking in that back air, but 157% are almost. Ooh. Again, yeah, he finds himself in a position where he has to play out of his mind to make the comeback. And it's also, when you look at Deity as in Rob's toolkit, right? Like, Rob's toolkit is just much more better... I'm sorry. Terrible grammar there. It's better versed against Deity. Like, Ape Man can camp out Deity with just Gyro and Laser alone. And then already on top of having solid, normal aerials, it makes the matchup really hard for Adamus. Also, having yeah. a huge reference. Oh. Look at that! Look at that! Just gyro, uh, gyro and laser alone is so rough for DD to worry about. That time too is just rough because Ape Man was not even trying to reflect the gyro at all, or sorry, the Gordo at all in that situation. He was just like you know throwing out the gyro, and it worked out really well for him. Okay, Adam is potentially on the winner's bracket stock right now. Oh, nope, not finding that anti-air, and it's going to lead to a pretty big combo from Ape Man already. Oh, Ooh. into the gyro? No finish oh, there. Ape nice. Man's playing so aggressive. Every, yes. every attack's hitting. <laughs> He's waiting for the roll. Yeah, he is, he is. What a smart yeah. play from Ape Man too. Waiting for the roll, waiting for the waiting for the Gordo. Ape Man has so much stage control, so much of a lead. He literally just has to wait for Adamus to make the mistake. Or catch him in the starting frames of Gordo. Excellent stall here. Doesn't have to worry about over overextending. Yeah, let go of the ledge. Goes for the, th the platform. Laser to come yeah. back on the stage. Gyro for the setup. Here's the up grab. Up. Tombstone pile driver. Oh. No. Goes for the up smash and stag. What a play. Very good stuff for Ape Man. Just almost complete control at that end of that, that game at, right there. Yeah. And just like that, for anybody watching the VOD and, and at the chat, uh, MKLeo just lost a burst as well.